Hi everybody, welcome back to Country Living Homestead. I decided to bring you along today because I'm going to be making some pheasant bone broth. Now, we're doing pheasant today because my husband is a hunter and he ended up getting this pheasant this year, but you can also do this with chicken, you can do it with beef, you can do it with venison, pretty much any bones that you okay. have. So I'm actually going to be using this bone broth in a recipe later. I'm making pheasant pot pie, but you could use bone broth for anything. You can use it in soup, you can put some in your stews, you can put it in casseroles. And the great thing is it's super easy to make. I'm going to be using a couple of different ingredients in mine, but if you only have your bones, and mine are already in the Instant Pot, if you only have bones, don't let that stop you from making this broth. It's super nutritious. It has a lot of minerals in it. It is super healing for your gut. So if you only have bones, don't worry about it. Just make it anyway. So for my bone broth, I'm going to actually be adding a couple of carrots. These actually came from my recent Azure Standard order. So if you're interested in that, I'll be linking it above. So check that out. I am also going to add a couple of stalks of celery. Now, normally I wouldn't be using these whole vegetables for my bone broth. Usually I would have some like cuttings from carrots or celery or even onion peels that I would save in my freezer, but I'm all out of that right now, so I'm using these whole vegetables. I'm going to put my onion in whole, and this is because the skin of this onion will actually give the broth a really nice golden color, so I'm just going to throw that in. I'm using this huge piece of elephant garlic, so I'm only gonna use one. And I'm gonna throw that in whole too, but before I do, I just like to give it a quick slap with my knife just to open that garlic up a little bit. This is the meat I already took off the carcass, so I'll just set that aside. This is a bay leaf. You don't need this. Again, you don't really need any of these ingredients other than the bones, but it does give a little bit of flavor. So I'm going to throw that in. Next, I'm going to add some filtered water. And since this is a, a pheasant carcass, it's pretty small. So I'm really only going to add enough water just to cover those bones. If this was a chicken carcass, then I would probably go right up to my max fill line on that. And I also put in some Bragg's raw apple cider vinegar. This is going to help leach the bones or leach some of the minerals out of these bones too. And really you don't need to measure anything out. I just put a couple of gloves in and I'm good to go there. Okay, so since I'm doing this in the Instant Pot, I'm only going to cook this for an hour and 15, an hour and 15 uh, minutes. I use the soup and broth setting, and then I just bump it up to an hour and 15 minutes. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about with this, I do not add salt to this as I'm cooking it. And the first time I ever made broth, I got a big mug after I took it out of the pot and it didn't taste like anything. So when you make this, you're gonna wanna add a little bit of salt before you drink it or before you, when you're adding it to recipes. It does definitely help bring the flavors out. So I'm just gonna lock this down.
All right, everybody, we just got this out of the Instant Pot. We got two quarts out of it. And as you can see, it has an amazing color. It's super delicious. All we gotta do is throw this in a mug, add a little bit of salt to it, and it would be fantastic as is. And if you don't have an Instant Pot, that's no big deal. You can actually just cook this in a regular pan on your stove about eight to 12 hours and you can get the same results. So if anyone tries this, let us know how you liked it in the comments down below. All right, everyone, so thanks for watching. I hope that you give this a try and I'm sure that your family would definitely appreciate it if you do. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Have an awesome day.